thanks so much for joining me for this Get Ready With Me featuring my August favorite. I left my hair just damp here. We'll style it in a little bit after I do my makeup. So we're gonna go ahead and just prime. This is the one I've been going to, it's by Chanel. It is their mattifying base. And I especially like this BioLifting Oil-Free Fluid Plus Moisturizer in the Summer by Chantecai. It's nice and lightweight, works really well in these warmer months. The Dermalogica set, if you've noticed over the months, you can see how effective it's been on my spots right here, especially. So sometimes my skin will plateau, like it'll hit a certain place in terms of improvement and then it'll slow down. But so far this one is continuing to have a nice effect. Going in with a couple of staples that are really great in the summer. You've seen these a few times recently, I think just because I use them so much. So this is the Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. I'm gonna go in with medium first because I think I went in with medium plus the first time, not the first time, the last time you saw this and it was a little bit deep for the center of my face. So let's just go in the center with medium. Okay, now let's go in with medium plus. This one on the exterior. You can see how this is gonna be too light for my forehead and the exterior, so that's why I use a couple of different shades. Going in with the Chantecaille Le Camouflage Stilo. Yeah, it does look a little bit light, but we always figure out a way to get this back to where it needs to be, but it's a lot easier to do that when it's a little bit lighter versus too much color. This is in 4C. Okay, now this time for face concealer, I've been using this. This is that peach shade by NARS. It's their eyeshadow stick. And I thought, let me just try this here. And it's been doing really well because it's that peachy shade. It's got a really great consistency. So let me just show you. It's like an eraser. Going with this Sephora, this is a pro concealer brush. Just gonna kind of stipple that in there. Actually does a pretty good job. It's been the one of the fastest concealing type, even though it's not a concealer, but it's done a nice job of concealing. I'm looking for it, where did I? Just threw it right over here. You can see how opaque it is and how fast that is. You can also use clean hands here and they're virtually impossible to see and then it's got a great texture to it so it's very skin-like, second skin-like. Let's go in with a little bit of this which I've used on the bottom. I've been wanted to show an alternative to the trench. So this is Moonlight by Laura Mercier and it has a bit of glow to it but it also works well under there. So you can see that darkness, especially when everything else is perfected. So I've got to do something with that. So this is something I've been using for just a little bit of glow. Then it brightens that area just a little bit. Yeah, even that helps make a difference. So let's go in with the bronzer. This is a really easy bronzer to use, which is why I love it. It's the CL, it's got SPF 30. And I'm not sure where this is gonna show up in sequence, but yeah, you just draw on like this and then take a brush and blend it in. That's another reason why I love this. It's really fast, but if it hasn't gone up, I'm just gonna use this uh, 107 BK Beauty brush. If it hasn't gone up, because I can't remember the sequence of posting here, but I'll be talking about travel favorites and this is a definitely a travel favorite because it is so easy to use it so fast it travels well it's in that stick form it's another seal product that is also a travel staple and an everyday staple for me sometimes i'm too quick with this and then i don't blend it in really well so i've got to check the sides but it's that, really that fast. Okay, let's go in with brows. So I did a brow at some point in August where I used the 
Baby Blade by Victoria Beckham. Yeah, that's better right there, just because it's not one solid color. But I liked using this with the clear brow. This was very natural looking. I'm excited to try the concealer. So I'll be picking that up. There was something else new. Oh yeah, they have like a, I love their lip product in Spark. That's one of my all time favorite shades of a lipstick. I also noticed they came out with a new sheer formula for the lip, which I'll be picking up. That is my favorite kind of product right now. It kind of looks like a Chantecaille lip sheer. So we're just drawing on really quickly, individual little hairs here. It takes a little bit longer, but it's also probably the most natural looking brow versus filling in every single spot. Yeah, so that's just like that. I'm just gonna fill them in. And then I just like to brush just to break it up and soften it. That's not even so much pencil, but it makes such a big difference. So we're gonna go in with the Jones Road Brow Gel. This is clear. Okay, let's do this first. We've got some Chantecaille Rose de May Rose Balm, Rose Balm, <laughs> Balm. And I've been using this quite a bit, but there's still some left. Really lovely, comfortable hydration. Nothing sticky, it just does what it's supposed to do. It hydrates and it's really lovely, but we're gonna take the clear, clear gel here and just go a bit against the grain. So you can fluff up the brows and see the ends poking up, which I like to make it look a little bit fuller, a little bit more natural. Okay, let's do eyes. I'm still loving the Cheetah palette by Chantecaille. It's such a beautiful neutral palette. Works with so many things. I just wanna show you a really easy way that I like to use this with other products. Oh, it's a little off center. I don't understand, maybe that's, like, let me just move this. Okay, maybe that's better. I always feel like I'm over here and then that tables sticking out a little bit. Let's take this shadow here, this lightest shade, and put it all over the lid. Really easy to use product. Going in with this shade next, the middle one, just for the crease. So that's it for those two, and I'm gonna take a bit of this is really pretty, this Chanel. I like to wear this even without this powder. It's beautiful just by itself. One of the newer shades, the Stilo Ombre Contour. This is a Neon Dahlia. And let's go ahead and just add it really close to the lash line. Just for a hint of color. And then I'm just gonna dot it along the bottom lash line on the exterior here. I was just thinking about how this was getting a little bit dull here at the end because I've used it so much, but I remembered many of you told me there are sharpeners on end, so there is a sharpener on this end if you want to sharpen it and make it more precise. But it's really fine like this because I like it a little bit softer. And let's go in with some Posey Long Slash. This is a new one. Just opened this, gosh, maybe a few days ago. I usually speed through this part, but I wanted to show you the payoff I get and why I like this so much. Because I really enjoy applying mascara and sometimes I just lose track of time, which is why it takes so long. But this is real time here. We'll keep this real time so you can see. And that's the payoff I get on this mascara and that's why I love it so much. It's really beautiful and nothing clumpy here. Just if I get a little bit, like if it's, I usually don't look up, so I looked up to look at the camera, but if I do, I can get some on my eyelid there. So I just let that wait until it's dry and then I take a spoolie and I just remove it. That's why I love this so much. I love the Clay de Peau concealer, especially for the eye area right there. Just makes such a big difference. Just so I've got that darkness there. You can see, especially right here, like there's a definite contour there, but if I can just brighten that up, 
like that, well not like that, but we'll blend it in, but you can see how much of a difference that makes with my eye shape. This is in Honey. I've been trying it also with the um, NARS product, the eye shadow stick like this, and also with Trench, I've been trying it as well. I haven't decided on what I think is the best yet, but I've been trying it out. So I've got a clay de peau brush, concealer brush here. So you, you can see what a big difference that makes. Going in with, and this is not new, I've got here one of the Chanel stick blushes. This is number 21. I'll show you the shade. Like it looks really vibrant here. It actually looks pretty pink online. It's kind of looking at the other shades that are available, but it's not super opaque either. So it's a little translucent. Clay de Peau brush. I'm gonna stipple that on. You can of course put it directly on, like I'll show you directly on, but I can control it a little bit better if I stipple it on. So I'm not gonna powder, but I'm going to set. We're going to use this, the Face Defender, and it's translucent, and you probably, not probably, you won't see any product on the applicator, but you will see the results of it. So let me just do one side. So you can see there the difference, and I just did it up front here. Okay, let me do my hair and we'll finish up with the lip. Okay, I just use the Dyson and put on a dress. We're actually going to dinner tonight. So you'll have seen this in the favorites video. But you can see how natural this looks and it looks like a little bit washed out right now because I don't have a lip on. So I'm going to show you a couple, and I can't find the other one. So I'll swatch that for you in the other video, the Chantecai Lip Shear. The one that I mentioned, I'm wondering if the Victoria Beckham is similar to that, because I love that one so much. But we're gonna go in with this because it's lighter. It has more coverage, so it's more opaque. This is in Wild Senna, and I like this for a really natural look. So this is Wild Senna. So if you want something really just no makeup, makeup, and even out the tone, this is a really pretty one. But of course, always looks great with a little bit more color, especially with a color like this. This is great if I'm wearing something very muted. I really have had things in rotation, like the same items in rotation. This one is that YSL in 505. <laughs> this is that YSL. Rouge Volupte Candy. It's this one right here. It's really pretty looking, the packaging. The color right here. You can see why this works really well with a color, like a beautiful deep blue like this. Oh, and we can't forget fragrance. I've been really enjoying fragrance. So this kit here, the, is it a kit? It's like a set. <laughs> it's a fragrance set by Maison Francis Kirchian. The Baccarat Rouge. 540 is in here, but this is the one I've really been enjoying. And I did a look inspired by this fragrance. This one is 724 right here. So these are really beautiful bottles as well. There's, I think, a smaller one. I've got to see if it's the same fragrances, but there's even a smaller one with smaller bottles in it. So if you wanted to try it, but you didn't want to commit to this one because these will actually probably last me a really, really long time. I don't spray that much, a little goes a long way. This is a very clean scent. So I described it as like a laundry scent in a good way, but also more complex than that. So it's got bergamot, which I love. There's a bit of brightness, and then that musk has a beautiful softness about it. Really beautiful blend of things that I love. But that's it for the Get Ready With Me. Let me know if you have any tips and tricks around any of these products. I would love to know. 
but really enjoying just this fresh look. And I'm able to, again, wear less makeup, which is really fun for me because I'm not having to struggle as much with trying to cover up these spots. And the use of the eyeshadow stick as a concealer has worked really, really well. But that is it for today's video. So please take care of each other. Stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.